What's happening, everybody? Uh, another malt review. That's Mikey. I'm Narby. What's up? All right, you guys. We are doing another really high-end Scotch whiskey here. Really excited to do this. This bottling. It's the Lechag 42-year-old. Um, I believe this is their oldest bottling. Um, ever released and it is bottled at 46.7% We have a small sample here and the small sample was not cheap um, the full-size bottling goes for Usually around four to five thousand um, dollars You could find it for a little bit cheaper if you hunt it especially with the if you're in the US at least with the um, Pound coming down and currently the pound being like 1.24 versus like 1.5 So it's a little bit cheaper, but um, most places you're gonna find this for around four to five thousand dollars So we're talking about a really really high-end product where you're expecting expecting the very 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 finest out there um, So again, we got this sample and we you guys have seen us do a bunch of these right now it gives us an opportunity to try more variety without having to purchase full bottles. This has been sitting out for about 15 minutes. It's a 42 year old whiskey and it's got that beautiful, beautiful, rich, almost rum-like color here. Just gorgeous. And this is, this is a closed uh, distillery, so it's a very special treat. All right, you guys, without further ado, first time we're trying this baby on the nose. It's so beautiful when, when it, this is a peated whiskey, when you're combining that, that aged sherry, high quality sherry, and you're combining it with high quality aged peat, and obviously peat after 42 years really mellows out and it combines with that sweetness so it's a sweet mellow peat and it's so so lovely it's an old style of peat it's not raw and attacking like let's say a lafroy 10 year old not that lafroy 10 is bad we love it it's a great whiskey but it's a different style of peat this is just absolutely beautiful yeah a lot of times we talk about the the full possible spectrum of scotch flavor, scotch notes versus like even Japanese whiskey and then obviously bourbon and rye whiskey, American whiskeys will be a lot less because they're very limited on what kind of barrels they can use. And this is like no exception. Like every time we have heavily sherried and then heavily peated together, it just, it releases every single possible flavor of that entire spectrum. I mean, you can pick out any flavor from the sweetest note you can think of, like treacle or toffee, all the way to smokiest note you can think of, charcoal and everything in between. And it gets so complex and it's just, it's the perfect combination. This is just like that. I'm gonna try to give you guys an idea of how complex this whiskey is. And it, it is a bit of a challenge to do it in, in a short review, especially when you're only trying it for the first time. But this has, this has apricots and just rich dates and berry jams and, and, and honey baked ham, like, you know, the, the meat qualities with brown sugar crust and it's got walnuts, it's got that nutty element, it's got got the coffee elements but not in a bitter way it's almost like sweet coffee with mixed in, mixed in with some vanilla syrup apricots on fire <laughs> smoky so from the so, so from the red some of the red jams to the to the fresh apricots and peaches and to the baked ham to the walnuts wow. to the soft peat oh yeah all in this like perfumey like sweet Sweet way, and it's just that perfect level of sweetness, perfect level of peatiness, 
uh, it's just very, very complex and it's going all across the board. It's got beautiful honey in there as well. It was a, you know, I mentioned the honey baked ham. Everything's like barbecued. Like you talked about the, the meats, it's like, it's like fruit, like sweet, fresh fruits, but like barbecued fruits, like barbecued apricots. And then of course, honey baked ham and all the meats and barbecued elements. It's like that little bit of smoke and it's nice aged pizza, so mellow smoke, not overly attacking, combined with all the fruits and all the sherry elements. Super, it's, super complex. It's absolutely Wonderful. stunning. Absolutely, Wonderful. absolutely stunting. I'm sure if we spend you know, a half hour nosing this, we can oh, come out with a bajillion oh, oh, yeah. But it gives you an idea, you know, it gives you an idea of the spectrum of what it is. Very fruity, oh. meaty, nutty. And just juicy and peaty and salty, just everything. It's got it's got it all. It really, really has it all. So I'm just gonna hit the palate. Cheers. Cheers. Juicy fruit, high-end European German gummy bears, sweet peat again, salty, touch of oak, not too oaky, very fresh for a 42-year-old whiskey, it's very fresh, honey, gamey, nutty, bitter espresso now on the palate. Just excellent. It's almost a little mustard, a little sweet mustard as well on the palate. Mm. Um, just very, very complex and, and, and unique, I'd say, when comparing. And it's just one nice large sip. Oof, the finish is just oh, yeah. exploding nonstop. Very, very, very good palate. I'd give, I'd give it uh, the nose one, one point extra, but that's to be expected with a forty-two-year-old whiskey, almost ninety-nine out of a hundred times. But excellent, excellent. Yeah, it's amazing. It's the perfect amount of dry, but it's amazing. It's not drier, considering it's forty-two years old. And it's fresh. It's like crazy, crazy fresh, juicy fruits, just biting into the freshest apricot, and even a little bit of mango and apple plum and golden raisins but then at the same time in the back of the palate the fruits in the front the back of the palate it does have beautiful drying aged elements some leather and some smoke some toasty elements like just burning a little bit of wood or burning a little bit of, of skin on fruit just tinging it a little bit and then it's got really exquisite nice honey and then really good, bitter, dark chocolate, coffee, espresso, um, honey glazed walnuts, like really quality walnuts, cashews, like everything. It's amazing. This is now so sweet and luscious, and, and it makes me wanna it makes me wanna bite bite the bite the glass. It's reminding me of the gummy bears. It's reminding me of the style of peat and sweetness. Reminding me of old old Arbeggs. Yeah. 1970s sherry cask, Arbex, exactly. that style of, of Super sweetness. Special. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, really unique. One more sip. One more, one more sip on the palate. But still the key, like this, this soft, almost like dessert-like smoke and pee in the background. Like it's smoke and pee, but it's so sweet and so delectable. It has a dessert-like uh, desire to it. Oh, it's so luscious and so fresh for 42 years old. Oh, wow. By the way, there's only, wow. I believe there's only 500 of um, bottles of this made. So the lucky people that have it, you know, oh, it's, 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 it's a one, one out of 500. Yeah. Done. And, and, and when they do still exist. There are a couple shops that still have this. Obviously at that price point, it's hard to sell out right away. Um, Truly, truly, truly magical stuff. 
Um, if I had had to score the whew, the finish, Ooh, it's oh, beautiful. Forty two years, baby. Yeah, I'd say the nose is a ninety five. The palate is a ninety four. As a score, I'm gonna score it at a ninety four. I'm uncomfortable giving it a ninety four out of a hundred. Excellent whiskey. I give it a ninety five. I'm very comfortable with that score. Yeah, I mean, it's just, again, like I said, on the nose, it was a 95, on the pilot, a 94, so mm. average that out. Um, amazing, amazing stuff, you guys. Wow. Truly a treat. Um, and we'll see you guys soon for another session of Mod Reviews. Cheers. Cheers.